Hi guys, I want to take you through some fun decorating techniques that you might want to use on your mug. The first one is something called slip trailing. And slip trailing is simply using slip in a decorative way. So there's actually slip in this um, bottle. This is called a detailed liner. And what you're going to do is you can simply decorate with slip by using this, this tool. Um, one thing to note is that your clay has to be in the leather hard or more plastic stage to do this. You cannot do slip trailing on a piece that's already been fired, so don't try to do that. Right? And all you're simply going to do for slip trailing is, it could be something pre-planned, is you would draw with the slip. You might create like a dot pattern, but you can also create any sort of decoration that you so wish. The nice thing about this is it will give you precision, Whoop, but sometimes that will happen too, so you gotta be careful. The nice thing about it is you can just wipe that off if you do make a mistake. Um, and these bottles can actually be filled with underglaze if you're looking to do something with more precision with the colored glazes, but it's great for something called slip trailing. So the nice thing about this is the slip will actually dry on here, so it's gonna create an actual physical texture and then you'll glaze over it and this area will actually be like slightly raised up. And again, it's great for precision if you're looking to do some sort of fine line detailing. So that's step number or the number one way we can potentially glaze our mugs or any sort of clay project. we can use is something called watercolor underglazes. So they look act like actual watercolors and there's a couple different palettes back there so there's a variety of different colors as you can see. And it looks very, here's an example, very similar to what watercolor might look like on paper. Okay. Here's an example I did of a plate with some jellyfish on it. This can be done using either clay that is leather hard or you can also put it on clay that has been fired and has been bisque. Um, it will just apply a little bit differently, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's very simple. It's just like regular watercolor. You have to actually activate it by putting some water on it. Let me activate a couple colors here. All right. Get your brush in there. And you can paint it on very similar to any other glaze. It's just much more watered down. And if you're painting something like a sky or like an ocean, the colors blend really nicely, same way that they would on paper with watercolor. And you can go with one coat of this. It's going to be a little bit more transparent. If you go with one coat over three, but it will work just fine. You might just see some of the clay underneath, but if that doesn't bother you, then one coat would be just fine. You can also mix these colors similar to how you would mix regular paint. Okay. So that is another option for glazing. It works great on leather hard clay, but it will also work on bisque wear. I'll show you what that looks like here. It just doesn't blend as nicely because the clay is dry. So I can put it here on my piece that's already been bisque. And you can see how it absorbs almost immediately into the bisque clay where it doesn't do that with the leather hard clay as much. So I'm not gonna be able to blend as nicely with um, the bisque that I would the leather hard clay, but it is great for painting and creating some really nice effects. So the uh, watercolor underglaze is also another great option for your mugs if you're trying to do something a little bit different. And the last thing I'm going to show you how to use is something called carbon clay transfer paper. And what this is, is it's basically tracing paper, you put it down on your piece of bisque where it needs to be bisque. And this is a great technique for those of you who aren't very good at drawing. 
you're going to print out whatever it is you want to put on your mug, tape everything down, and then you're going to simply trace over whatever it is that you want to transfer onto your piece. And what it's going to do is it's going to transfer that pencil mark onto your mug. And at that point, you'll simply take all the tape off, peel up your carbon paper to reveal the image underneath, and then you can underglaze it from that point.